Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've done one of these. I haven't had anything to un unbox in a while. Um, let's see, to catch everybody up, I am currently in uh, Santa Monica, um, part of Greater Los Angeles, here uh, working in our writing room on Beacon 23, um, which is being spearheaded by Zach Penn, one of the smartest um, writers I've worked with. Uh, it's brilliant what they're thinking of doing with uh, Beacon for TV. Um, I give these things like almost no chance of ever happening, but this one looks um, like it has a really good shot. So very wild. Uh, left the boat in Australia. Um, man, I don't since the last time I did a video like this, it's probably in uh, s somewhere before the Pacific. So um, since you saw me last, sailed across the Pacific, went to a whole bunch of beautiful islands, went to New Zealand, toured around uh, New Zealand for about six months. Uh, and this last trip was from New Zealand up to uh, Fiji with a stop at um, Minerva Reef, which was unbelievable. Just a reef in the middle of the ocean. Did a few months in Fiji, went to Vanuatu and New Caledonia. Loved both of them and going to go back to both of them this next season. And then sailed to Australia. Now, left the boat to come do a little bit of LA work and see some friends and family. And I have a surprise. A box of books. Um, boy, my first unboxing was like, I think in 2009, I unboxed Molly Fine the Persona Rescue, and it was a really big deal, you know, holding my first book. This is a big deal for a different reason. I only have one little story in this book, um, but I helped, uh, actually I did all the editing for the non-reprints and, and helped uh, invite some people in and helped Gary and Christy uh, curate this list and and produce it. And we've had an unbelievable team of people who came together to uh, edit and proofread and uh, package and paginate. Um, Everybody is volunteering. I'm volunteering a whole bunch of time and uh, any of the production costs are coming out of my pocket. Every penny that we make from this is gonna go to the ACLU. You'll see in a second, this is uh, a charitable thing. Um, we. Uh, well, Gary got in touch with me about a year and a half ago um, after the uh, election and just wanted to do something with our, our creative abilities to raise awareness, raise money, raise people's spirits. Um, and that's what this project's all about. It's called Resist. It's got 27, well, 26 really amazing writers. And then um, I, I got to shoehorn myself in there since I was part of the uh, editing process. Um some amazing stories because people were writing really from their heart and not um, trying to think about what's commercial or what would sell, just what would, um, how they want to express themselves, you know, and for me, it really got back to why I started writing in the first place. It's just very liberating and a lot of fun. So uh, it's all good stuff. Getting ready to see it for the first time. I'm so excited. Haven't been this crazy excited to unbox a book in forever. So let's see how they came out. Oh, there's our first peek. That's a MS Coralie cover. I love his art. He wanted him to go like retro on this, and he nailed it. Ah, look at that. Whew, that's beautiful. Unbelievable. I love the, uh, the matte cover. Ah, stunning. Let me tell you who's in this. Look at that lineup. It's just a uh, who's who of some of my absolute favorite writers. It's so daunting editing, like offering suggestions to people that are so talented. But, um, I mean, Desirina and Daniel and, and Charles Yu and um, Jake. Elizabeth Bear, Samuel Peralta, Madeline, some of my absolute favorite writers and, and to have them contribute and put their, their love into this. Ah, this is really crazy to see. It never gets old, man. It's, it's so cool. So here's the table of contents. I think that's the whole thing on one page. Yep. Table of contents. Um, I'm right here in the middle where people usually start skimming. So we put like some of our favorite stories 
in the beginning and the end, and then we put um, me in the middle. So you don't have to you don't have to read my story, read all the other stories. So this is a little bit about the cause, about the ACLU. They've been amazing to work with. Um, the forward, which I also wrote, I really uh, like. I know people usually don't read the forward, but I think this one's worth reading. Just gives you an idea of what we're what we're uh, doing. And boy, it opens with Charles Yu's "America the Ride," which is just brilliant. So many brilliant stories in here. All right, I have five of these. I've got to figure out what to do with them. I think I'll give some away. All right, check this out. Order a paperback or a Kindle or both. Order them for friends. Send them to people. Know that every uh, what's cool is because we saw publish this, a lot of money is going to the the ACLU. So when you buy an ebook, it's right now it's priced at seven ninety nine. Seventy percent of that will go straight to the ACLU. So you're getting a uh, a book and making a donation for cheap. Um, and the same with the paperback. I think on the paperback, we make like six bucks or something per paperback. All going to the ACLU. Um, so proud of all the work they do. They do work in a lot of different areas. And they're not uh, a left-right organization like uh, people think. They're uh, um, about protecting liberties. And a lot of times they're um, fighting for things that I disagree with. But I agree with why they fight and um, what they stand for. So, um Awesome cause, awesome stories. So good to hold it in person. Hope you enjoy. Good to see you again.